Hey guys, today on the Home Wine Making Channel, I'm going to show you some homemade or uh, repurposed items that are pretty handy for wine making. Um, so the first thing is really pretty cool and simple. This is just a piece of scrap um, plywood that I've drilled a bunch of holes in and mounted some legs on that works really nice as a bottle dryer. So you see those bottle drying trees and stuff which are fine and everything, but this is nice if you've got some wood laying around. Um, the only thing you really need if you've got a drill is um, a couple spade bits. So these holes are an inch and a quarter, and I've got a couple um, inch and a half holes which work nice for the, the bottles, the fatter tops like the champagne bottles. So that's a pretty nice little thing to have when you're washing a lot of bottles. Um, this next thing is my wine whip or stirrer for my carboys. And this is just um, a stainless steel rod, which all you really need is a like a stainless steel rod. But I got a little fancy with this one and I, I heated and bent the end of it. And then I made a little mold and cast a uh, screwdriver handle on it. So it's <laughs> pretty cool, I guess. But that's something you might want to consider just like making if you can find a piece of stainless rod laying around. Um, this is a little fruit fly trap, which is basically just a cup with a um, little bit of wine in it and a piece of saran wrap with some holes poked in the top. So they fly in and they get stuck and they die. Um, another thing, uh, this is just a little square block of scrap wood, which works nice for just as like a dust cover for your carboys and stuff. Um, so it's super simple. While we're on this, the block of wood thing, here's just another block of wood um, that's nice to have around. So these are good for when you're um, racking your wine. You can set them under the corner of the carboy and lean it a little bit to get into the corner. Um, it's always nice to have some, some uh, growlers or like one gallon wine jugs laying around for say you make six gallons and you rack it and now you have five and a half gallons. These are half gallon and they fit, usually they'll fit like a number six or number seven um, bung, no problem. Um, this is cool. This is a seed heater. So you can get these for like growing plants and they just barely, they don't put out a lot of heat. So. If you want to do like a red wine and you want to ferment a little bit warmer, this will pump up your temperature by a few degrees. If you put a blanket over it in, in conjunction with this, you might get, you know, maybe from like 70 to high 70s um, without risk of just too aggressively heating. So these are nice. These are really, really cheap too compared to any of the more professional like heater systems you can buy. Um, here's a piece of copper pipe. Um, if you have like any hydrogen sulfide issues, like the rotten egg smells with wine, the copper can help a little bit with that, um, just to give it a little quick stir. Um, and then I like to number all my carboys here, and then I have a book that I can see what each number is, but um, that's nice because you don't have to write on it. But these are just some little wood tags with a piece of twine on them and I just keep a whole bunch of them over here so um, it's easy enough whenever I make one I just throw a number on it and when I'm done I throw it back on the rack. And I think um, that's probably the main like homemade stuff I have here. Uh, oh one thing I didn't mention that's in one of my videos is for a crusher destemmer you can use a um, milk crate and just kind of rub the grapes through the little squares on the milk crate, so that's cool. And um, if you needed a, an airlock and you didn't have one, you could always use one of your bungs and use a, um, a length of tubing and run it down to a cup full of water to bubble. So I don't see any real reason to do that aside from you're in a pinch and you need something quick, but um, that's just a, back, a little thing to keep in your back pocket if you ever need it. Um, but there's some cool things. Maybe if you've got some time over the holidays here and you want to tinker on some wine making stuff, you can make yourself, you know, a, a rack or a bottle rack or a wine stirrer. But hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something helpful here. Uh, thanks for watching.